The other day we found a dead buck laying on our fence. And it was quite shocking. It knocked the bottom wire of the fence down. So I took it way up in the woods so the coyotes and other animals could finish it off and it wouldn't be just rotting down here by our barn. And this morning I saw some turkey buzzards at the back pasture three or four of them up in the tree and they were flying around. So I think they've found that carcass already, which is amazing because it's hidden in the woods. So Bright Boy and I are walking up to check out and see if we can see any turkey buzzards up here. They were sitting on that branch this morning and I can see that way in the distance from the house. And then the deer is way up there in those pines. Oh my gosh. I had no idea how fast that this process would go. The deer is just torn to pieces. Oh my gosh, are you serious? This is really gruesome, but I think it's worth examining and it's um just part of the natural process so i'm going to show it to you now so if you don't want to see it you better look away look at this this is crazy they literally have taken the whole back half of the deer basically all the entrails are eaten the back legs well, one of the back legs is gone, the other back leg is eaten. The backbone is eaten to the bone. Here's the rear hip joint, the lower leg is down here. And the only thing really left is the front legs, the front shoulder, and the head. This honestly makes me happy because I was thinking, oh gosh, there's gonna be this nasty, stinking, rotten deer up in the woods for weeks, but honestly, at this rate, Anything that could rot is gonna be gone in just a couple more days if these buzzards keep coming back. The other crazy thing is that there are animals that can actually eat a rotten carcass like this because right now, this deer smells really bad. And I know if I ate it, I would, could very well die from being sick, would at least get very, very sick. But the buzzards, that's what they thrive on. Some of you might think this fascination with this deer carcass is strange but when i see events like this i see them as these unique opportunities to see the process of the natural world when you look around in the woods there's all of these micro events i mean tiny things like right here i found this little this little thread of what i believe is a fungi like spore dispersing system, fungal life coming off this little dead twig here. If you look around you anywhere mm -hmm. in the natural world, you'll see life and you'll see life thriving. And I love that. I love the micro, but the deer carcass is the macro. It's this event in the ecosystem and the event is it's a big deal. Things are happening really fast. This deer carcass is breaking down. The turkey buzzards are getting a huge meal which is sustaining them and, and uh, potentially affecting their population for the coming year. It's kind of like an ecological fast forward and you just get to see, it just gives you a different view of this beautiful natural system that I love so much and I, I've come to appreciate more and more through the life that we're living. It's pretty stinky so. We are gonna get out of here. Here we are at one of my favorite places on our homestead. And we're up at the top of the back pasture. And I just love this view. It's kind of the view from the back side of our homestead. Looking out towards the house and our other pasture and the peak on the other side. I just think it's so beautiful. 
Well, thank you so much for joining us. That was a short and I hope interesting peek into our life and life in general on our homestead. You'll have 